While looking over Google Maps, I came across these interesting shapes. They seemed out of the ordinary, and I wanted to go see what they were in person. So I drove nine hours to go see what they were. What did I find? I didn't see a single car, truck, or anything on the way out here. This is gonna be different. I am very prepared right now. Looks like they built stairs there, huh? How do I get down? There's there's no way to get down there. Oh. <sighs> Might take another quick break. I mean, what am I doing? You'd have to be dumb, crazy, or stupid to do this. Go to this ledge. I don't even know if this will make it to YouTube or not. Monsters. After already driving six hours, I still had another three to go. I was tired and just ready to get hiking. I was still unsure how this adventure would go, but I was happy to finally get out of the car and begin this hike. It took a long time to get out here. It took about six hours to get to my spot where I spent the night, and then about three hours to get out here. So nine hours total. Sheesh, it's better be worth it. I think it will be. This is a brand new place for me. I found some circles of rocks on top of these little hill things or buttes, whatever you want to call them, outcroppings. That's not the right word, something else. I didn't see a single car, truck, or anything on the way out here. Just tells you how remote this is. It is so fun already. <laughs> Even just the drive of this beautiful place I'm in right now is just is just worth it already. So my plan is to hike to the edge of this thing and fly my drone down to it. I am very prepared right now. Uh, so let's go see what this thing is, finally. Glad you're able to join me on this one. This is gonna be different, it's gonna be unique. Hopefully we can find some really cool things. Oh wow, <laughs> this is a cliff edge. <laughs> How am I supposed to get down there? Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna get close to this one because this is really steep and this stuff looks really brittle. But, um, oh yeah, there it is. So I remember there's one over here and there's one over here somewhere. I might wanna hike down this thing, safely, of course. How do I get down? There's, there's no way to get down this. If I could somehow get down there. Yeah, because I can see something on top of where I was looking on Google Earth. Well, we'll check over here. Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay, so this is a possibility. Go to this ledge, climb down right there. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found the route I can take. Okay, so I just walked down this thing. Don't worry, looks more dangerous than it really is. This is a nice, easy trail with stairs coming up to it. To climb down that ledge behind me. Kind of straddling her kind of right here right now. Only like maybe five feet in the air. No big deal. Oh, feels good though in the shade. This is crazy. What am I do? What am I doing here? This is so stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> Uh, sometimes I just don't know about myself. Okay, so I came down from up there, kind of just stepped down here, and now I'm towards the bottom. I'll be out of this thing. And you bet I'm checking in every single spot for snakes and monsters. Oh, I made it. So really, this could be a quick adventure. Like, I'm really just planning to hike right there, which is probably, you know, 1,500 feet away. Flying my drone across there, and then checking out the other spot over here, and that's kind of it.
make sure you're walking down these things you have both your hands free you don't want to hold cameras while you're going down these things because they are slippery I've only gone a third of a mile and I've dropped about 300 feet, 285 feet. I've only been hiking for 30 minutes, which is good. I'm going really slow, taking my time. Okay, new plan. So I got to these boulders right here that I saw from way up there. So I'm gonna go down to these ones. They look more flat and I'm gonna uh, kind of hang out there and rest and then fly my drone across to where I can see that ruin. So I'm using an actual hiking backpack this time. Uh, if you may have noticed in my previous videos, I've been using an old uh, snowboarding backpack. Just so stupid, huh? But it worked. And so all those zippers have now broken. And uh, I was up visiting family uh, recently and I went through my camping bin and I noticed I had this brand new backpack. So this is so much better. Why don't I just do that before? Like even just spend the money to buy one. We just kind of get stuck in our ways of doing the same thing over and over, even though just a small change would think, make things better. So anyway, I'm almost there. This is easy hiking now. It's right there on that little tower. I can kind of see the top of it. Really a beautiful area, huh? You can see like a trail. I think these are game trails because there's no, I mean, they just kind of, you know, branch out over there. So I don't even know where you'd hike up from. There's no even, there's no way to even drive your car or ATV or anything down there. <laughs> Look at all this. Okay, now that I flew my drone back, like you you couldn't have seen my raw reaction to some of this stuff, to seeing these two things. Like I was just like, that is so cool. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, but now that I got the drone back and I rested for a little bit, I feel like just like this profound, like this deep respect for these people who build it on these almost impossible locations. Like the one right here, you know, is, would take a steep climb and I would never do that by myself you know I would never want to actually do that even with you know with some friends helping me up and down and that one over there I would never climb up too because it looks so delicate because it looks like they built stairs there huh like this big pile and it looks like they had like a 
little short jump. That would be a great spot to be uh, well protected, you know, or trapped. <laughs> but I just feel like this respect for these people who made these. Do you notice what's going on in this picture? It took me a minute before I saw it myself. Whoever originally built this blocked the entrance to the top with this here. These are very special places. And I'm not just talking about where the ruins are. I'm talking about the mountains, valleys, rivers, and creeks that these ancient people would have lived by. How do I know these ruins were made anciently? Well, I, I don't. But it's just my guess based on other ruins in nearby places. Look at this thing. Old beer bottle. That was a short bottle, huh? Full of dirt and stuff. I mean, ranches were out here because there's cow pies. Whoa, it looks like an arrowhead. It just, it just, yeah, it makes me so happy to see that stuff. To finally see it. I've been kind of struggling the last couple years with what to show and what not to show, you know? I don't even know if this will make it to YouTube or not. I might just make it so it's kind of hidden and things, but I just don't know how much to show and what to hide. Um, but I want to share it with you because I think, um, I think the community around my channel is about respect and about learning and seeing these amazing things. So I don't know anything about what I'm doing besides other than it's fun to explore. I'm just a hiker is all. But what do you think? Because we've all seen, you know, especially the last couple of years, a lot of these places become overrun and become vandalized and trashed. And so it's kind of this battle we're all facing right now. It's like how much to share, you know, and some people think it's impossible to visit a place without leaving their mark without scratching their name on rocks, without, you know, taking ancient pottery or without knocking over something or without, you know, vandalizing stuff. Like some people really think they have to just take something whenever they visit somewhere, but it's completely possible. And that's kind of the point of my channel is to kind of show that you can visit these places without taking stuff or leaving trash or without, you know, tripping over lost history and that kind of thing. So if you do find these places, please visit with respect. Please don't take anything. But I'm glad we're able to share this together, share a place that doesn't see many visitors. Now for the fun hike back up that thing. I think I'm going to just make it a gradual slope up. Taking a break underneath this balanced rock. <laughs> Resting again. I'm almost there, just right there. Maybe like 200 yards or so. Right up there is where I'm going. <sighs> Might take another quick break. It is so hot, it's too hot to be out here. I mean, what am I doing? You'd have to be dumb, crazy, or stupid to do this, or all the above. Okay, it's right up here. There it is. sweet home. Oh, it feels so good in here. It's probably like 20 degrees difference. Just go up there, climb up these nice little stairs. Oh, it feels so good in here. That got my adrenaline going. I have to wait a sec before I climb up the last, the last little bit. And the car's just up there about 100 feet or so. Look how red my face is. <laughs> so I just go back to the car. Here's my half gallon of ice cold water. This was a really fun adventure. It was way too hot. Like I was hoping on cloud cover and I even saw a bunch of rain in the distance, but didn't happen. But that's okay. Back in the car, feeling good. It's really hot. It's gonna keep drinking and I'm gonna go home and rest. We'll see ya. <laughs>